and I think the the other thing, Mark, here that we've that we've one of the questions that kind of came came aboard was about special teams, and you know, it's 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 probably one of the the most interesting topics there's been, like really thus far in terms of kind of the the local media and um, what Venables has talked about, and I have. You know, I've heard l- last year that 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 Riley in, in Oklahoma would would spend a little bit south of an hour for the entire week of practice on special teams, and and I think so. That was kind of anecdotally through some some people that I that I feel pretty comfortable um, comfortable with, and then. And then even Billy Bowman had talked about this week and, and, you know, he's one of the three guys that have been kind of returning punts in practice and, and talked, talked a lot about the fact that they really weren't allowed to return punts or kicks and t- unless they just absolutely needed it. They absolutely needed it um, because Oklahoma between punts and kickoffs, I think Oklahoma had a total of 22, 24 actual returns. Um, so, and that is, I mean, and that's a very low, low amount. And I think Oklahoma was around the 5.2, you know, average for, for punt returns, which is one of the, it was one of the lowest in the country. So I think the thing that's different is they are spending a a ton more time and a lot more focus on, um, on the special teams here. It's something that Venables has, they start every practice with and they end, um, every practice with was from what I've what I've seen and what I've heard. So there's a lot more emphasis. So I think the Oklahoma, um, you know, special teams from a kick return punt return perspective is um, is going to be better. Obviously, when you think of the punter and the place kicker, you know, they kind of I, I, I assume, you know, they kind of go off and do their own thing during practice. So they get a lot of they get a decent amount of work on their own. Um, now, where it was probably. Um, negligible was obviously on the kind of the team special teams drills. It's interesting what has happened with special teams in modern day football. So you've got the rugby punter has come into play here. Probably we saw our first rugby punters maybe 10 or 12 years ago. And now I don't know, a third of the teams, half the teams, and you can see when they're effective why you would want to do that. Um, then you also see because the return game in the kicking game, kickoffs in particular has been negated to a certain extent, not completely wiped out or eliminated, but it's been negated by, number one, kickers just being better to be able to reach the end zone and kick the ball out of bounds and kick it out of the end zone. Number two, obviously, the ball being now brought out to the 25 mm-hmm. has deterred and um, uh, returners from taking a chance of bringing it out because if you can get it at the 25, then it's difficult to return it that far. Number three, now with this rule that's been in play, what about three years that regardless of where you can, I can't stand this rule, <laughs> but wherever you catch the kickoff inside the 25, you get it at the 25, right? I hate rules that play with and go against the the structure of the game. The structure of the game is all about you advance the ball and you receive the ball and that's where you get the ball. And to artificially get it at the 25 when you caught it at the 13, it doesn't make any sense. Now the end zone's treated differently. The ball goes into the end zone, it's a touchback. All those things, we understand how the end zone is treated differently than the rest of the field of play. But to catch the ball at the 12-yard line and to get it out at the 25, that's artificial to me. But anyway, that's what the rule is. So that's a reduced kickoff returns as well. So you've seen a lot of teams more so than in the past take this approach that we want to play good coverage, of course. We don't want to allow added yardage on the return units for the other teams. But in terms of our returns, let's secure the ball. Let's just secure the ball. And hey, if somebody breaks one for 25 yards, great. But let's just make sure we secure the ball. Don't turn it over. And we'll go from there with the offense, especially with field position still being 
very critical to the game. It's still important, but maybe I shouldn't use the word critical. Maybe it was critical at another time in college football history when offense wasn't so prolific. doesn't seem like uh, a prolific offense now minds getting the ball at their own eight-yard line. It's not preferable, of course. You've got to do more work, and they it, it, it leads to opportunity for more mistakes having to drive at 92 yards for a touchdown but they don't seem to be bothered if you have a strong offense hey give us the ball we'll operate from any position on the field now the one or two yard line may be a different case but with a little bit of room we're fine we're going to operate the offense so I don't think field positions as critical as it used to be it's still important uh, but you see more teams just with this mindset of secure the football on the return, and we'll start the offense. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. I think that's um, that, that rule that you mentioned has been a big game changer in terms of the, the kickoff return and the kickoff game. Um, you know, obviously, you, you know, we still have the we still have the punt return game, which is a little bit better, but I think the punters are, are, are so good about keeping the ball, you know, in the air. The hang time is, is, is such a such an integral part of you know the the fundamentals and the mechanics of, of punting these days but no you're right i think i think the 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 return game is not anywhere near the same as what it was just across the board but i think you know just the fact that um you know that oklahoma's bringing a little bit more attention to that to the details um of it is is still um you know i think it's still pretty pretty important because you know the with with what Oklahoma has, um, you know, for, with with Turk in terms of the punting, you know, they have a they have the ability to to flip the field very very quickly, and so you look at that on the opposite side of Oklahoma, you know, if they're if they're able to have an increase, I mean, even just the five yards per return, you know, if you you know somewhere double that, or if you're you know at least seven or eight yards, I think it puts you in a better position. But I think it's just overall the kind of the the attention to, to the details that I think has sparked, you know, kind of Oklahoma fans and what maybe hasn't been done versus what is is going to be done. And and I think there's a lot of people that are so far, I think just very enamored probably not the right word, but maybe a little bit surprised at how much of a stickler on all of the details Venables has been so far for a guy that's a first time head coach, 